Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to share your PPT to your class. Take a look. For instance, you already have set your meeting with your class, so you're starting already to show your PPT. Click on the Share button, and from that, you can see four choices. So we have here Desktop. It is your first screen, the screen that you are facing right now. Then here on your windows, you can see here lots of screens that you that is currently open in your computer. We have here the preset, PowerPoint, and browser. Okay, so the best thing for me that is very effective when in terms of sharing your PowerPoint to your students without any hassle is through window. So I will click on my PowerPoint. So it is already sharing on your screen. So when you have this on your screen, the students can also see it within their screen. Okay, so while having this, you can click on your, maybe your chat bar. We can also check students' questions through chats. You can also check students' participants, and if you can mute and unmute them, for instance, while your PowerPoint is still showing in your student's screen. So you have nothing to worry if this is showing on your screen because the PowerPoint presentation is currently showing it to your students. Now going back to your PowerPoint, click on your PowerPoint presentation because it's on the windows, then it goes this way. Then how to show the video to your students with sounds. So supposing your slide also already has embedded, embedded video, so all you have to do is to click on the play. But before clicking on the play, make sure that you have also to share the sounds. So put your cursor on the top. You can see here some commands. So give control. Also this desktop button, it says include system audio. When you click this, this means you are also sharing the sounds of your video. So when you play your video now, it will play directly to your students with sounds. All right. So also, students may ask some commands where you can give them control. So the moment that you give your student a control, they also have the, the commands to stop and play the video, or even to move your slides from back or to forward. So I suggest just deny their requests. Okay, so that is how to present your PowerPoint presentation to your students and playing the videos with sound. I hope that helps. The next video, I'll be showing you how to embed videos through your PowerPoint presentation. That's all from me. Thank you so much. Bye.